Well, hello, Your Excellency. I'd got word you might be here. I know your face, pirate, but your name was borrowed the last time you spoke. Ah, yes, I recall. Mr. Duncan Walpole. I missed that one. So, what's a Templar Grand Master doing so far from his Castillo? I'd rather not say. And I'd rather not cut your lips off and feed them to you. Two years ago, we offered a reward for the Sage's recapture. Today, someone claims to have found him. His gold is his ransom. Who found him? A slaver by the name of Lawrence Prince. He lives in Kingston. We like this story, Torres. And we want to help you finish it. But we're going to do it our way. Using you and your gold. Kingston. 
Ready, lads? Secure the rope! Hold tight, lads! <laughs> Stug him! Get him before he snaps that tail! This one's dangerous! I see him off the starboard bow! Hook him! He's a slippery bastard! Hang on, we're off! It's weakening! <laughs> Stung him! That tail's coming! Snap! Coming on, Sam! Watch oh, out! Damn it! We're leaking badly, Captain! Rope is holding! Off we go! There! <laughs> Stung him! Captain! Papoons are running low! Get him before he snaps that tail! It's the hit! There! He's shunning for us!
Here's how it goes. Torres meets with Prince, carrying a portion of the ransom, saying the rest is close behind. When we see the Sage, you bring in the rest of the gold, make the swap, and get out. I'll be watching all from close by. No, Kenway, you run this scheme alone, at the risk of losing the faith of your crew. It makes me ill to think of you bartering with that wretched slaver. Come on, mate. Once we have the Sage, we'll all be rich. Not if young Master Kid gets to him first. Kid? Jesus. That lad's here to kill him. Edward! What the hell are you doing here? I'm tailing these men to the Sage. Can you hold off? Can you hear? Alright. Prince is leading us straight to him. Alright, Jesus. Stay my way for a time, but not long. Part of me, like, just go before you regret it. Why would... Is he saying? Oh, right. Oh. What are you doing? Come by. How long have you been since our last meeting, Senor Prince? A year? Near 18 months. You first described this Roberts fellow to me in November of 1715. That is <clears throat> unusual. Oh. Ah, I see. Much has changed in that short time, you know. None call me governor, for instance, for I quit that post last year. Ah, I was not aware. So many churches in Kingston. As the English have last taken to converting their slaves to the Christian faith. Ha! Ah, convert them? God knows, Torres. There's none here so foolish as that. English? How do you mean? English? How do you mean? Is it not a sin to enslave a fellow Christian? Therefore, to transmute a slave's soul from animal to man would be tantamount to inviting one's cattle to the dinner table. Forgive my impatience, but how far is it yet? We are nearly there. Ah! Ah! Oh! Stand your ground, slave, and face corporal punishment like a man. Why act like a man now, when you have denied me that right for 30 years? I find your bearing appalling, Prince. I... I find your bearing appalling, Prince. I believe all thinking, feeling men deserve respect and opportunity. Ah, oh, you Spaniards. Your long ties to the Moors have diluted your blood and softened your hearts. This is not to say I believe in the natural equality of all races or sexes. Truly, many talent and intelligence should lead. But there is no true profit to be gained by the practice of slavery. In the short term, it makes us money, see. But in the long term, it will render us the victims of our own success. Ah, but you and I, sir, old as we are, will not live to see that unfortunate day. So I follow. You there! For virtue, if nothing else. Virtue? 
Oh, it. I have no wish to waste my day chattering about slaves and their pitiable conditions. Let us conclude this transaction, then celebrate as friends. Away from here, you know what's going on. Other stories about you, Prusa. You were a governor in Florida for a time. See, si, see. Si. I am one of a number of civil servants in my family, a long line of politicians. I have always toyed with the idea of entering politics myself. Only I feel I have too much money. Speaking of stories, Prince, I've heard it said you were with Henry Morgan the day he sacked Panama. 1671, was it? Oh, it's all true, yes. But let us not overesteem the honors forged and won on the battlefield. That skirmish was a deadly one, and a tremendous waste of coin and resources. I <laughs> It wasn't until many years after that I sheathed my sword in favor of a far safer and yet more profitable venture. Capital and resources, that's where money is made. And sir, let me tell you, honor bought is more enjoyable than honor won, if a touch less permanent. I grow tired of this walk. We must be close. Yes, just here. We must be on equal footing, you see. I don't trust Templars any more than you must trust me. Well, if I had known you were so skittish, I'd have brought you a bouquet of flowers. Oh, I don't know why I bother. For the money, I suppose. The vast sums of money. You, um, you say you came alone, Paris? Not alone, but certainly without colleagues. I took passage aboard a British merchant's brig. Ah. Now's the time! No! Not until we see the sage. Here's a quiet spot. I'll see the money. This is a portion of the ransom. The rest is close at hand. It pains me to traffic someone of my own race for profit, Mr. Torres. Tell me again, what has this Roberts fellow done to upset you? Is this some form of Protestant piety I'm not familiar with? Perhaps another day. What? Next time, see to it that we are not far out. Deal with this! You cocked up my kill, Kenway. For a better cause. Oh, 
Come on, man! We can work this together! You have your chance. Stay your blade, kid! Wait! Jim, stop! Damn you, old Strat! Keep your natty hands off me! I can't let you kill those men, kid. Not until I found the sage. I've been stalking that pig for a week now, charting his moves, and here I find not one but two of my targets, and you rob me of both. Patience, man. You'll have your kills. When I locate the sage, you're helping me take grins. Got that! Welcome here. you prefer meeting in a pub? I came to Kingston chasing a target. Getting pissed ain't a priority. We could work together on this, you know. It's Lawrence Prince you're after. I want his prisoner. We're after the Sage as well, Edward. Careful who you cross. May the best man win. There's guards patrolling that property from end to end. Looks to me like they use bells to signal trouble. See there? We'll want to disable those before pushing too far. With so many men about, we can't rely on stealth alone, so... I'll do what I can to distract and draw their attention. Giving you a chance to cut them down. Ready? Your name's not James, is it? Not most days. Come on. Stop! 
Got a clear shot on the... Alarm! Rouse yourselves, you dollars! Oh. He's trying to give us the slip! <laughs> Alarm! Help me, damn it! There he is! Oh. Intruder! Help! Press <laughs> our advantage! <laughs> <laughs> Ground. Please, I've been shot. I need aid. Christ, Thompson, look at her. She's hurt. Dreadfully, sir. I'm poorly. All right. I'm faint. Take an arm, lass. Bless you, lads. says to keep your eyes peeled tonight. Says there's some men about bent on making trouble. 
I'll spread the word. Down like a sack of the tape.
I hang over me like a leering crow to see an old man suffer? You've caused no small portion of suffering yourself, Mr. Prince. Retribution, I suppose. You absurd cutthroats and your precious philosophy. You live in the world, but you cannot make it move. You mistake my motive, old man. I'm only after a bit of coin. <laughs> As was I, lad. As was I. Heads up, Kenway! I found your man! I remember you. The Templar from Havana. I'm no Templar, mate. That was just a ruse. We've come here to save your ass from this slaver. Save me? I work for Mr. Prince. Well, then he's a poor man to call master. He meant to sell you out to the Templars. Oh, you can't trust anyone, it seems. <laughs> Lost your man again, did you? Aye. Uh, Roberts is a devil with a queer aversion to kindness. I suppose that's two men I've lost today. So, what's your real name, lass? Mary Reed to my mum. And them I call friends. But not a word of it to anyone. Or I'll unman you as well.
Whoopie old bull. I often wonder where he finds his endless supply of 